hello, hello, and welcome back to Psychology Eats. So what's eating you? Today we have another viewer question or a statement. Someone um, asked that, and it wasn't just, it was a couple of people actually have asked for a video about um, deadbeat dads. And so, although we know that there are deadbeat moms, this video is focused on dad. Dads who are not part of their kid's life. And what is the psychology behind a decision that a um, man would make um, not to be a part of his children's life? And so... When I think about this, when I think about this subject, and I've talked to many adult people who grew up without their father, uh, men and women, and how that impacted their life. Um, and even as adults, they still have a sense of loss, um, hurt, and pain from not having their father in their life. So... If you speak to a dad who's not part of his child's life, they can give you, there are many excuses, many reasons. Some are legit, um, incarceration, drug addiction, um, distance. I mean, I can give you, you know, a ton of excuses or reasons why a man is not a part of their child's life. And I could spend this video dogging the the father who is not part of their child life their child's life but one thing that I know I, I try to make a point of when we think of when I'm working with anyone um, in the in the clinical setting is that the one thing you can't do is change someone else's behavior you can't think for someone else and you really can't make someone else do something that they don't want to do. So, I think working with the important part of this absentee father, um, deadbeat father, is the child or children that are left behind. And the children that don't get the opportunity to have a father in their life. As the guardian or parent, mother, or whoever is raising that child, it's important that you make that child feel loved, right? You can't change what dad is, is made a decision to do. If he's not going to be a consistent figure in that child's life, then it's almost like you have to move on and help your child to become a whole adult even though that piece is missing. How do you do that? You have to, first mom, don't dog out dad. You know, don't talk about he ain't no good. He never helped you. He never did anything for you. I don't think you need to lie to your child, but I don't think you need to add into the misery and the, the feeling of sadness by talking about the dad in a negative way so that's number one not to talk about dad in a negative way but also not to make up things about dad you know if he's incarcerated you know he's not in college he's incarcerated there's a big difference so you know giving the child accurate information about their father um is appropriate accurate information the last thing you knew he lived in switzerland then you need to tell the child that give accurate information child appropriate accurate information about where the last thing you knew mom about the father the dad i think that's important because at the end of the day you're really trying to make sure your child feels loved and and wanted and and talk about the the man you fell in love with mom you know i fell in love with your dad or you mean your dad had a relationship because he was kind because he you know whatever 
talk about the the what what gave you what led you to even be in a relationship with this man and want to have a child with him and apologize to your your child in a way to just say I'm sorry that this is happening to you if I knew he was going to be absent I, I maybe I would have made other choices or or I, I, I feel bad that this is is, is happening to you um I it's nothing you know you don't want to blame yourself but you also don't want to put him in the dirt constantly to your child you're going to hurt your child so you want to help your child to deal with the feeling of abandonment i have worked with so many adult adults that have not had relationships with their father and they're still hurt by it they're still hurt by it so you want to make sure that your child feels loved i can't say that enough and that this is not their fault this is not anything you would have chose for them but this has happened you can't change dad's decision and not being a part of the child's life and that's it and what I want to say to anyone who's watching this video that then you don't have children yet, take this as a cautionary tale. Make sure you know the man very well before you decide to have a child with him. If this man has other children that are not part of and he's not part of their daily life, then that's a red flag. Right. If this man talks so bad about his his baby's mom in a negative, nasty way, that's a red flag because the same way he's talking negative and nasty about her is the same way he's going to do you when you when you have children. So take this as a cautionary tale. Don't put your kids in a position where they have to wonder and worry about dad because he's not there. Or you have to, you know, you meet someone else and now you have to go through that whole process of introducing them to a, a new man and, and all of the, the stuff that comes along with that. So I would just say love on your kids. You can't make that man do anything that he's not willing to do. The law can make him pay, but the money, yes, you need the money to help take care of the kids. But more importantly, the kids need the love and um, building that attachment with their father. That's what they really, you know, they need. Besides the financial piece, they need that also. So don't live in blame, mom. You know, you can meet someone and they don't show you who they really are. Um, and then you find out after you've had a baby and now you're dealing with this guy who has abandoned the situation. So take out the blame, take out the anger, and focus on your kid. Focus on raising them to, to feel loved in the environment that you raise them in. And as far as deadbeat fathers, you know, oftentimes they come from a situation where they didn't have a father, right? So now it's learned behavior. They didn't have that example, and so they're repeating the cycle, unfortunately. And then you have those men who didn't have a father. And they're great fathers because they made a conscious decision not to be that type of father. So I'm going to end the video with, with that. Um, uh, if you um, have any more questions or comments, throw them in the comment section. And I would say... Um, keep moving. Keep being strong, moms, um, single moms. You can do it. You will do it. And and all you can do is is is, is say a, a kind word, you know, about the father. And that's only going to help to build your child. Um, so don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. And I will see you next time on Psychology Eats.